I wanted us to discuss about a wonderful personality in our religion. I would like to put your attention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us all human beings. On top of that, he elevated many amongst us to different levels with respect. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qualifies to be the best of humanity. We all know that. But in the same point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated Prophet Ibrahim upon him be peace from all other prophets. Those who read the Islamic history know that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam together with Prophet Ibrahim amongst others qualify to be amongst the prophets that the historians term to be in ulul azmi min rusul the prophets that were attested to the bone i want us to dedicate, dedicate this summer to the fact that in just a day we are going to celebrate eid al adha i think it's wise of us to discuss Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. The reason as to why we are going to celebrate this day, it's because of our father in faith, Ibrahim alayhi salam. He's the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Khalilur Rahman, the most close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In an authentic tradition, it is also narrated that Prophet Ibrahim is just with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaning against al-baytul ma'mur the Kaaba besides Allah not our Kaaba here the reason as to why Muslims today are congregating in Mecca in that festival it's because of Prophet Ibrahim now as a Muslim who is preparing to slaughter to sacrifice your animal I think you really have to play, pay close attention to Prophet Ibrahim. Do you really know as to why Muslims globally dedicate time, dedicate their faith into slaughtering animals? It's because it's an act as a result of their faith, as a result of their piety, courtesy of Ibrahim alayhi salam. We all know his story. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted prophet ibrahim the levels of piety like he never granted to anyone the story is well known prophet ibrahim dreamt as he was slaughtering his son the son he got in his advanced age and we all know that when a prophet dreams definitely it's the message from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so indirectly Allah was trying to direct his prophet to slaughter his son Ismail. And this is a story in the Holy Quran with very many profound Quranic verses. Prophet Ibrahim marched to his son Ismail and he was like, My son Ismail, in the Arafil Manam, I saw in my sleep, in my dream, Anni Avbahuk, I was slaughtering you. His son Ismail knew that Prophet Ibrahim is a prophet. And when a prophet dreams, definitely that's a fact. And Allah is ordering him to do that. That was a test. But to the level that Ibrahim alayhi salam had of faith, he straightly marched to the son. Not even the son hesitated. He welcomed the message. Prophet Ismail was like, if alma tu'mar. My father, it's okay. Do as you've been ordered by Allah. Satajiduni, insha'Allah, mina sabirin. You're going to find me amongst those who have practiced patience. Now, let's pause there for a minute. Let's just learn a lesson from the relationship of Ibrahim alayhi salam as a father and Ismail alayhi salam as a son. The connection between father and son in this scenario is as deep to the level that the father is being open to the son 
without trying to find other ways of letting him know because he knew. He raised the son spiritually right and he knew that the son fully trusted him as a father. I'm your khatib today, but trust me, if you're today me, my father marching to me, telling me that Allah has ordered him to slaughter me, that would be a point of discussion. Seriously. Why me amongst your sons? Why don't you ask Allah, why is he ordering you to slaughter me? Hasn't Allah told you the reason? These are all now facts that I will put on the table to my dad to make sure I'm not a victim of being slaughtered. But Ismail was like, Allah, it's okay. Just implement what Allah has told you to do. Now, at the 11th hour, Prophet Ibrahim get, got to a point of implementing what Allah ordered him to implement. It is narrated authentically that Prophet Ibrahim salam, was dedicated fully, without any hesitation, to do what Allah has ordered him. Not because he never loved the son, no. He loved the son, but because Allah has ordered and you're not supposed to put anything in the way when Allah has ordered you. When he reached slaughtering Ismail, salam, how sweet is this? Ismail said the following statements. Allah narrates in, in Quran, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanur Rajeem, Falamma aslama wa tallahu lil jabin. Both of them, Ibrahim and Ismail, reached the level of submission, the highest level of submission. Ibrahim as a father to try to implement the order of Allah and Ismail as a son to welcome what the dad, the prophet, has actually opened to him. And Ismail told the prophet, requested Ibrahim, two requests. Request number one, Ismail was like, my father, my humble prayer is, please, as you're going to slaughter me, cover my face. Because it's going to be hard for you to slaughter me when you're seeing me in the face. Probably you might even hesitate. And the second request is, please, as, you, as you're going to slaughter me, make sure I'm facing down. What Allah will Make sure I'm facing down so that as you're slaughtering me, as soon as you cut the jugular vein, the blood is not going to splash at you because it will be traumatic to you as a dad. Of course, Ibrahim implemented that. And as he, he tried to slaughter, Shaitan was also in the way because this is what Shaitan does. Allah is ordering you to do something. Shaitan is already there. Shaitan marched to Ibrahim prior to that. He was like, you're a father. You even got this son in your advanced age. Does it logically make sense to you to slaughter the son? Ibrahim was like, I'm not going to be a victim of this temptation. Al-Jamra, Al-Aqaba, Al-Kubra, those who visit Makkah, you know what I'm talking about. Ibrahim got stones and threw at Shaitan seven times to make sure Shaitan is away from him. Shaitan marched to the mother of Ismail. He was like, you're the mother to Ismail. Are you really going to accept the husband to just take your son like that? The wife also did the same. Threw seven stones to Shaitan to make sure Shaitan is away. And then lastly, Shaitan went to Ismail and he tried to convince Ismail not to accept that. Ismail did the same. Threw the stones to shaitan. And definitely shaitan wasn't in position to distract any of them. That's why we have al-jamra, al-aqab al-kubra, wal-wusta, wal-sohra in Makkah. Now what we learn in this story is a lot. At the 11th hour, Prophet Ibrahim was, was dedicated to slaughter the son. Allah narrates, uh, narrates in the Holy Quran, وَنَادَيْنَاهُ أَيَّا Ibrahim. My Prophet Ibrahim, before you slaughter, he even tried to slaughter, 
But he wasn't, the, the knife wasn't able to do that. Allah immediately intervened. And he was like, my prophet Ibrahim. Qad sadaqta ru'ya. You've implemented the order. You've passed my test. Wafadainahu bidhibihin azim. In return, Allah gave a sheep, a goat, a sacrifice to Ibrahim to slaughter that instead of slaughtering the son, Ismail. Now, Muslims globally are going to sacrifice animals for one reason, in respect of the tradition of Ibrahim alayhi salam, and secondly, to just show our levels of submission to Allah. When Allah orders you to do something, you're going to do that without questioning him. That is what our father said. And that is why we are going to enjoy Eid al-Adha. For decades. That's what we are doing. Now how many Muslims are really learning this as they are trying to slaughter? Allah knew in the Holy Quran that many people will think that Allah needs the meat and the blood that is shed during that day. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Allah is like, la yanal Allah luhumuha. Come on, think again. The meat you're going to slaughter, you're going to get as a result of slaughtering, it doesn't even reach Allah. Wala dima'uha. Not even the blood. We all keep that. What Allah wants in you is to make sure a believer squeezes out the faith to show his submission to Allah in that act you're doing. Now whoever is planning to slaughter an animal on Sunday and three days after that, please prepare your intention. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that understanding. Abebitiwa abam pliriza. Akaunge zikoru alero. Njagala tuwa ye muko kumusajia. Ea vivu akensonga. Okubanga tuge ndoku lienya mamma sao. E dini ya feyobu siram. E tutendeka. Ti Allah we alia tonda ababaka. Ya genda abateka muko kumadala. Nabi Ibrahimu gwetoge wako uruwa lero. Ye nabi. Nga levo ye yoku tia katonda. Ya tusu kano fena. Siku manyinyo. Na we nga wota manyinyo. Na ye nkakasa. Kufena. Te wali atuka kulevo ya Ibrahimu. Okubanga tuge ndo kusalevi solo. Obanga bulimuaka tusalevi solo. Sichi nyumo. Aa. Mulimu gwa dini. Nga tugu jira dela kutata wafe. Ubaja jafe mubukiriza. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Gwa tamanyicha aliwo. Nabiyo sebo nga alota. Alota nga Allah mulagira. Asalo mwana gwe yafuna mubukuru. Nga akadie. Ibrahim azukuka. Wukolo kolo. Nagende wa mutabani wa Ismail. Namu gama mutabani wa nga Ismail. Wate gede. Ndabye mutulonga andota. Nga Allah nda gira nkusale. Uliru umana siya mugamba. Ya mugamba tata kula bukozi. Implement. Kula nga Allah wa kula gide. Satajidu ni insha Allah. Mina sabirin. Te ufayo. Nzo jaku unsa nga mba gumikiriza. Katika nko meka awo. Gwengo mutabani. Tata ona jena kugambe bigambo ongevyo. Yandi kusazegwe. Yesu ngula wachi ngami nawe tuna tuka awo. Newe ya ndi bade tata. Tata cha inzo kumalaga lootabu hatio. Nagena kumwana guafu nye mubu kulu nno. Mbwa musale. Chachari cha Ibrahimu yeka. Aono tujite ono mangu. Batu uko kubanga Ismail. Agendo kubanga asaliwa. Mukulani yeyo Allah tunyumiza. Tifalama aslama. Watalla hulil jabin. Nabi Ibrahimu, nema utabani wa Ismail alayhima salam. Batu kakulevo, nga bonna bonna bajemu kida mateka ga Allah. Tata agenda kusala no mwana tachi ina kubu zibu kubwa Allah la gide. Natu kano kubanga, chiu sama utabani we. Kubwa utabani we ya musaba. Na mugamba tata wangengeri jogendo kunsala. 
nkusaba yebi nitu bibili. Echi soka, nisaba wobo nsala, ambika maso, kubawo onanda bango nsala, chinzo kuchinyobu ongo. Echi oku bidi, nkusaba onvun na mewoti, obo mtu ogu teke wansi, buona asalo omusu ogu famu omusayo muji, gule mekusa mukiranga tata. Smail, Ibrahim na koleche. Na tani koku sala. Neshe ito anino ya jia. Omunudi oguse waka ngeri wa Ibrahim. Nemo gama na Ibrahim. Musa jia guo mkuru. Omwana guo funye mbukuru wano. Kuweli kuweli. Echi loto kuloto buwechiti. Ngoja omwana. Ibrahim na gama sheto anitonda banga. Na jia yobu yinja. Musa amvu. Awari bagenzeke maka mchimanyi. Ebi wajiwe bakuba. Echi wajiwe choje chiri alkubra. Ibrahim wakua te ama inja musambu na kubanga Na agenda kumama we, mama wa Ismail Na mugamba anti na imu ama Omwa anono atali so kufubu kwa wati Nga baku jila omwa ana mbiye Bito ebita tegeli kawe bitio Na imu ama na ina kwa wata ama inja Na kubwa Shaitwa ni muvire Emi mpaji ya kubili Eyoku satu Nerumba Ismail Na mugamba ukujia konga mwana gwe Evi ntogenda bite gede otia. Baku salabatia. Bolo kubata atawa alose bulose. Na isi mayuri nako lache echimu. Na kanyuga ama inja. E yonu na yefamile jetuwa gerako. Kati Allah bu atunyumiza mkuru an. Tina Allah astafa adama. Wa nuhan. Wa ala Ibrahim. Wa ala Imran. Ala la alamin. Allah ya wani kabantu wabi. Famile ya Ibrahim yona. Si yefamile jewe kubako mukiriza. Ibrahimu na hata nipo kubanga sala. Na yenga kambete kasala. Toche u nyanyo kubanga katondeo vya akola. Omulirogu tayo cha Ibrahimu. Hania guzi kiza. Katonda. Hania teke nye kubo. Mwenyanja. Kumulembe kwa Musa. Katonda ya viko levyo. Kata ya kambe kagane. Na sala angatevisa lika. Aba achari yao. Na kwa wole buwa. Allah mkwa wola. Ja amudu wange Ibrahimu. Kati sadakta roya. Mubadu wabante gera. Aba ino buki ni zowe chike cha wa gulu. Nkutiki de. Otade mungkola china kugambo kukola. Wafadaina hu bebe behe na avim. Allah na muwa. Echi okusala. Echi solo. Endiga. Embuzi. Chonechi salibwa. Na achimua. Na ismailu nkata salidwa. Eyo testi Ibrahimu ya jita. Tu saba Allah berenga atu waku lebo yobu kiliza. Nga Ibrahim jaya. Singa fenatu haitu ino obu kiliza webu tiyo. Allah na kugeze samu kukatono. Noduka musabo. Ngutu suwaza. Allah na kugeze samu kukatono. Mubiona biona. Nola bayo kuba. Bolo kubo bafu kuitilideko. Tutu suwaza na we. Uomo gendo kusale ebi solo. Bio ino kuige ebio. Alla na kukwesa muko na evi zibu. Katu mbuwe nseko miye yongawe ya koma di. Lemera ko. Ye position yo mokiriza. Ela Ibrahim alayhi salam. Mkubanga tusa levi solo buli mwaka. Tusa obira buli musiramu mkubanga integele ya jitegele. Tusaba Allah vedenga atuwa enjigiri zenu njeyo. Kati Allah ya chimanya. Shabantu mubajaba somena mnowebi toweba. Tiba inza nukutuko kuloza. Nti abasila amona abo. Beba singa nukwela guza. Tola banga basa levi solobu li muaka. Ngabali inga bagama. Nti katonda ayagala musai. Ayagala ni nyame yu na imbu alieko. Allah natudamu Quran. Audhu billahi mna shaitanu rajim. Laiya nala allaha. Luhumuha. Bosala ngechi solo chogendo kusala. Omusa enyame yo jyosa ze. Allah tagenda kujiri ya. Tegea na mutu ukako. Wala di mauha. Omusa igu ogendo kusala guvemu umbuzi. Gugenda kusiga la ukutaka na ugenda gula. Ba Allah sigu wa ya gala. Walakin yanalu hutaku wa minku. Allah chaku wa gala mu. Kwe kubanga. Levo ye yo kumutia. The total submission to him. Obuki rizobo. Gwebutu uke wa Allah. Elabu li asale echi soro. Nga kule embe zaka tonda we. Chechu Allah cha kwa galamu. Saba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fenna. Abelenga atuwe njigiri zangeyo. Saba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Atuwe mwe vyo kuyiga. 
mukusala kutugendo kubanga tusala yensonga yemulu ati nadu wafe Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Anas bun Malik atunyumiza tiyalaba kunabinga yeke nyini asala embuzi bili ngazina na mayembe nganji mubulunji tezili si ndwadde yazida banga na biazi sala teyakoma bukomi yao na hii alawane nabinga agambila konti bismillah na alawane nabinga atendeleza Allah mukubanga asala Allahu akbar zetakbira zetu inzo zetani kukubanga tuogera kukulaga engeje tulumgulumizamu Allah wafe ne dini yafe tusaba Allah berenga mchikolo cha Ibrahim alayhi salam nkakasa bwetu bera bakiriza wetu ti twali kigenda kulema mu dunia muno ne echi cha chutagaza obukiriza bwa febu cha laki nganyo aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullaha li wa lakum wa li sa'il almuslimina min kulli dhanbin fastaghfiruhu innahu huwa at-tawwabur rahim المحمود هو الله والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وبعد respected brothers and sisters in islam i would like to conclude my sermon today with three factors factor number one, please as you're going to slaughter your animal in a day from now please clear and cleanse your intention what allah wants from you is not to make you poor no what Allah wants from you is to show your dedication how ready you are to submit to his will when Allah says do so that is what we learn from our grandfather in faith Ibrahim alayhi salam secondly please glorify Allah in these days please prioritize that it's okay Keep saying Allahu Akbar. Allah is great. La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar. No one is worthy being worshipped but, but Allah, the great. All these statements are authentically narrated to us from the Prophet. We are supposed to do that in supplementation of whatever we are going to do as we are slaughtering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that lesson and lastly please tomorrow is the day of arafa fast it because of the goodness in it prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam narrated to us the best dua that you will ever supplicate is the dua you make on that day of arafa and secondly if you dare fast the day of arafa Allah pardons, pardons you. The previous day, the previous year of your shortcomings and the coming year of your shortcomings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to do that. Abebiti wanga maliriza. Ensonga satu. Ensonga esokera ddala. Abasira mu fenna tufunemu ekyo kuyiga nga tusale ebisolo byaffe. Idi okusale ebisolo idi ya sanyu tusanyuka kubanga jajja wa fawaba kiriza ibrahim alayhi salam ya tutendeka ti allah wa bala gidde tugonda yensonga lwachi tusala kato muslimu yenna wa ba sala kirooze kecha necho kubiri bobo sala kiteke ne mbana bo tuli mulembo gwa bana abaswaza ocha sobola kubanga sunna ya nabi ibrahim eno gojagala nyo na yo mwana tomutendese kati wobango osale echi solo chyo ngana biwe ya chisala kuluna kulwa idi batabani wode ba walabo baberewo batabani wo bako go wa kambe bakuyambe ko mukubaga olwa abana abawala bali mu kiyungu betegese okufumba nyama teka wembera ku idi abana bamanye nabi ibrahim tajja gendera wo bwacho bwacho buli mwaka chechi tucho gendo siga mu bana bo Ero chifunemu empera. Nga Ibrahim boyakola mzadeli. Echo kubiri.
takfire ezonno wandi zigiye mwe nsonyi e janja waza mu kongo tendereza allah mbisera bino allah nga sanyukire ebintu ebyo walitukabbiru allah ala ma hadakum go tawana allah go gamba konti allahu akbar ogena musu totia kubanga allah kulungamiza sinti buli muntu agenda sala nga bo gendo sala walwo na ino sobuzinga tagenda bisa lai oyo tujja kumudira jume ndala ne katuli ku muslimu ali serious nga masimagali nti agenda kusala tusaba allah kulungamin akuwemwa bulunji mu kusala ko gendo kusala ekisembera yo dalala tulusibe tulukozese kulwo bulunji obuludidi nabi atuka no kutuga manche duwa jo sababu na kulwa araf ye kyasi nzo kubere nnunyi allah bata ya nukuleya ya nukuleriwa ate bubogeza no sibo na kulwa araf aboti allah nga kusonywa amazambi agomwa ko mukadde na amazambi agomwa ko bujja bakubiriza mwe naba ina amazambi nganze musibo na kulwa araf kulwo bulunji obululimi tusaba allah tuwo bulunji obululimi tusaba allah atuwo obusobozi okuyiga kujaja wa fowo bukiriza ibrahim alayhi salam nga okoye obulangu no bulangu nebyo ebisitaza nokujja ku mulamwa ngo yiga mu tambi bwa dawa nebikinda maso mu dini yo katika tukwanjulire muzili mu channel application wetu gambira anti tebenkera mu dini yo nga bukyewetaga kiri mu kifo kimo muzili mu channel application ekuletera obutambi obuyigiriza nebikinda maso mu dini yo eno application ya muzili mu channel osobola gikozesa ngo oli ku mulimo go ngo oli mu lugendo obango obumu demo wano sisi kana okuyamba ku masjid yo nabe tavu abakwetolode buli kasera wo yagalide wano ku muziri mu channel application tunda ebyamaguzi byo byonna nebyo byota kyakozesa olo twegureko nga umma twikulakulanye insha Allah gwe anonya omulimu nawe anonya omukozi omusilamu ebyamasomero ebyentambula nebyo kulya ebiri halali we kwate muziri mu channel application eno muziri mu channel application jisange ku google play store oba Apple Store, Apple TV ni Android TV. Muziri mchano application ya kule duwa baganda wa abasilamu. Eda bulibuyambi wona wona ateka uja kukule ranga sadaka jaria. Eda chitu sohoze se ukungilo kutege kila mutia wona atebe nkila mudini yo nga bulicheweta aga chiri mchifochimu. Tusabe Allah Azza wa Jalla asohoze se umulimu guwa muziri mchano gubire guwa mugaso nukula akulanilamu. Insha Allah. Insha Allah.